bloc. Le profil écrit nous dit, nous les assises ensemble, cloche de nous ensemble, bien sûr, chacun garde ses spécificités. Et les nous fait nous travail. Ça nous demande ça en toute légitimité. Et pendant le week-end, nous faisons une cause aussi avec le speaker. Le Diali qui, c'est le vœu, ok, de parlementaire, travailliste, MMM, nouveau démocrate. Et bon, moi, qui, le speaker, pour agir d'une façon indépendante. Mais ce que vous trouvez, c'est bis repetita de monsieur. Faut qu'il Bon, par contre, pas de mineurs pour pareil, bien le ton pour pareil, mais malheureusement, action pareil. Et il y a une lettre. Il y a une lettre, effectivement, pour refuser nous. C'est nos droits légitimes. Pas si nous avons l'alliance, nous avons un bloc, et nous devons demander qui, vu ce qui finit arrivé, qui maintenant, ça l'a dit ensemble, vient assis ensemble. Pour ne pas comprendre qui fait les finagers d'une façon arbitraire. Et laisse-moi dire, et quand on peut dire ça, l'être là, les coule de source, qui devait prendre l'instruction de son papa et de, 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 du leader of the house, l'ancien speaker, allez. Mais maintenant, qui de mal qui nous peut demander qui enlève sa suspension là. Nous attendons, bon, moi, le ministre Obigadou nous téléphone, nous attendons qui je prend la décision qui s'impose. Mais les malheureux qui l'action du speaker à la compte de la démocratie parlementaire. Et qui est coupable. Mais l'autre, la plus coupable encore, c'est lui qui a mené une motion pour six fans, nous trois camarades députés. Il a écrit lui, il a envoyé lui, ça allait être là, à l'étranger. Bon, Dieu, il peut faire à l'étranger d'ailleurs, mais il a envoyé lui d'être là, à l'étranger. Nous pas Nous attendons, nous guetter, quand il répond, qui lui pour répondre, parce qu'ils ont une six fans, faut qu'il y a. Pour qu'il y ait une suspension du monde, eh bien, corrige ça. This House will certainly recall that, on 5th July 2024, Honorable Rajesh Bhagwan was suspended for the day sitting and the ensuing five sittings. On 9 July 2024, Honorable Ishan Juman was suspended for the day sitting and the ensuing six sittings. And on July 12, 2024, Honorable Joanna Béranger were suspended for the day sitting and the ensuing three sittings. Despite their suspensions, at the sitting of 18 July 2024, Honorable Joanna Béranger, Honorable Rajesh Bagwan, and Honorable Eshan Juman have forcefully made their way to the door of the chamber in breach of the standing orders, whilst they were not allowed to have access to any part of the precincts of the House, which includes all parts of the building on a sitting day. According to report submitted by the Sergeant at Arms, when refused access, these, the three suspended honorable members stated that they had received a convocation to attend the sitting by email from the office of the clerk. After verification, it has been confirmed that no such convocation had been addressed to them. This gross, orderly, this gross disorderly conduct was aggravated by the fact that the honorable members not only obstructed proceedings of the assembly, but also found it apt to insult the newly elected speaker in a language that has no place in Hamzad. This occurred whilst I was making my way to my office from the chamber after I had suspended the sitting by reason of the great disorder that had paralyzed the proceedings of the assembly. I leave this important matter to the appreciation of the House. As my third announcement, I shall now address the issue of the waiving of suspension of Honorable Joanna Béranger, Honorable Rajesh Bagwan, and Honorable Eshan Juman from the service of the Assembly. One can only regret that the Honorable Leader of Opposition has limited his endeavor 
to have the state suspensions waived to mere statements made in the press, rather than by following established procedures which are clearly laid down in our standing orders. Let me remind the House that the Speaker cannot, on his own volition, reverse or otherwise deal with the resolutions of the Assembly which suspended the said honourable members from the service of the Assembly. The said suspensions may only be dealt with by resolution of the Assembly following the appropriate motion being made in accordance with our standing orders. The onus is now on the honourable members who stand suspended from the service of the Assembly to tender unreserved apologies to the House or for an appropriate motion to be made in the House by their colleagues. I deplore the approach taken by the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, who has chosen to throw ultimatums on the House, in the press. That is, that the, op the Opposition shall abdicate from its role in the Assembly at today's sitting, unless and until the suspension of Honourable Members is lifted, whilst being oblivious to due process established by standing orders and practice. For Parliament to properly function, the participation of members of the opposition in the business of the Assembly is essential. I will also leave that to the appreciation of the House.